The human family deserves official confirmation that we are not alone in this universe and that other intelligences exist and have interacted with this planet's history for eons. Even the chairman of the Harvard University Astronomy Department in the past three years has speculated publicly that there could be very advanced alien technologies in our cosmos. Professor Avi Loeb, PhD, told me that in March 2017 that he thinks it's impossible that the mysterious fast radio bursts that have made periodic headlines since 2007 could be from advanced technologies of, and these are his words, artificial origin. The mysterious fast radio bursts were first discovered in previously recorded data taken by the Parks Radio Dish in Australia in July 2001. But because of workloads, those records were not seen by scientists there until 2007. And what researchers found in the Australian archived radio data was evidence of a few extremely powerful and mysterious radio pulses that no one had seen before and no one knew what they were. And those different colors signify different frequencies. Now, 13 years later, with more than 100 fast radio bursts recorded, we know FRBs come from all over the sky and are not concentrated on the plane of the Milky Way. Many have radio frequencies detected around 100 megahertz. A few have been detected at lower frequencies, detected around maybe 1400 megahertz, and a few have been at lower frequencies in the range of 400 to 800 megahertz. The most famous is called FRB 121102. That stands for November 2nd, 2012, when the radio pulse was received at the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico. Its power greatly exceeded the maximum thought possible for what is called the galactic anti-center of the Milky Way. And that is the direction in space opposite to the galactic center as viewed from Earth. From our perspective, that is in the constellation Auriga. FRB 121102's astonishing power was 500 million times the power of our sun, and it lasted for only about one millisecond. That is one thousandth of a second. Or put another way, that fast radio burst released as much energy in one millisecond as our Earth's sun releases in nearly a hundred years. Since then, there have been dozens more FRBs recorded by Earth scientists coming from the same spot shown here that is a small dim galaxy 2.5 billion light years from Earth in that Auriga constellation. This technology to see that dwarf galaxy location of repeating strong radio pulses uses globally distributed dishes of the European VLBI network. That stands for Very Long Baseline Interferometry. And that is when a radio source from light years away can be collected at multiple radio telescopes on Earth. That VLBI network is linked to the 305 meter William E. Gordon telescope at the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico. What's important is that FRB 121102 was not a one-time event. Additional bursts were found from the same sky position with the same pulse dispersion measure. And that meant FRB 121102 was a repeating source. And that meant it survived that huge energy release, whatever it was. 
Scientists were initially shocked when FRBs repeated from the same place over time. And further, more than 100 FRBs have been officially recorded from different parts and distances of our universe. Even the chairman of the Harvard University Astronomy Department, Avi Loeb, PhD, told me in a March 2017 interview for EarthFiles.com that it was possible that the intense energy bursts could be related to, quote, advanced speed of light transportation systems of artificial origin, close quote. These fast radio bursts have very extreme properties. They are extremely bright, much more so than any other source we know. They are very brief, just a thousand of a second. They have a mission that is concentrated around a preferred frequency while, for example, pulse stars associated with neutron stars, they have very broad range of frequencies at which they emit. And moreover, these fast radio bursts, at least one of them, keeps repeating in an irregular fashion. It's not repeating periodically like pulse stars do. There are some months where there is no repetition, and then over a single day there are 10 repetitions. So this irregularity in the repetition and the fact that it's not a cataclysmic event, it's not a one-time event, makes them quite unusual. They might be artificial in origin. If we find emission at other wave bands, not just in the radio, that could provide us with more clues about the nature of the source, or if we get more data in the radio and we find some peculiar patterns in the frequencies that are being used, for example, the more peculiarities we find, the more it will drive the discussion in the direction of an artificial origin. Now, after archiving more than 100 fast radio burst signals from around our universe, this video is an illustration at a very slowed down rate of the strange repeating radio pulses that have occurred in the one to five milliseconds range and released the equivalent power of half a billion yellow suns like ours. What is it? Now comes the latest puzzling development in fast radio bursts, as summed up in this June 8, 2020 Popular Mechanics headline. Quote, this creepy cosmic radio burst repeats every 157 days. Where is it? Meaning all the energy. Where is it coming from? Well, that so-called creepy cosmic radio burst is that now famous 121102 FRB that was first seen on November 2nd, 2012. But no one knew about a precise 157 day cycle then. That baffling new information was first published in the July 2020 issue of the UK's monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. The Jodrell Bank Observatory at Manchester University reports that the Manchester scientists discovered each radio burst from FRB 121102 lasted approximately 90 days, depicted by the turquoise energy lines between the outer orbit and the Earth radio receiving dish. And then next is silence for 67 days. And after the silence comes more fast radio bursts for 90 days, then silence, and on and on. No one knows how or why such enormous bursts of radio energy would be emitted in a precise, cyclic, and repeating pattern like this. 
The head of Harvard's astronomy department, Professor Avi Loeb, is also chairman of the Breakthrough Starshot Advisory Committee, where he and other colleagues speculate that FRBs could be, quote, advanced transportation systems of artificial origin, close quote, and that they could travel at or near the speed of light. Some other scientists think fast radio bursts could come from magnetars, fast rotating ultra-magnetized neutron stars that have extremely powerful magnetic fields that can decay and emit FRB-type energy. But so far, no one has come up with a neutron source linked to a fast radio burst.